Hi guys, it's Melina here and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share this mixed media canvas with you. Uh, it started with a paint pouring painting that I didn't like, so I scraped off all the paint and I hate to waste things, so I I put all the scraped off paint onto this little canvas and I ran my finger through it to create texture and then I pressed down one of my crafty board designs by that's crafty into the wet paint and just let it dry. So that's where we start today. And here I go in with some gesso just to um, soft, soften things and to um, enhance the texture uh, on the background. I covered the crafty board design uh, with a layer of gesso because I know I want to add mediums and water and I just want to protect the crafty board uh, from all the wet stuff. And here I bring out my mixed media box where I put everything and anything I think I might use sometime in my life. Um, the plastic butterfly I bought ages ago on the dollar store. That's a little um, metal wire, it's a ruined uh, paintbrush and this is some of other, my other design, crafty board designs uh, by That's Crafty. And I cover all of it with white gesso. Here I used the wet gesso as, um, as glue to um, glue the two parts of the design together. I add some uh, That's Crafty 
texture sand paste onto the butterfly and uh, I let it dry. I use the waste pieces of the crafty board to add dimension between the layers. Um, that's a great way to use those parts as well. use the same copper and bronze paints that I did on the butterfly body uh, and add it to my crafty board designs and uh, I just want it on the top layer and uh, I found this way to be the easiest way to to add the paint just where I wanted it And now I add some water to the paints to bring in those colors into the background of the canvas. I add it with splatters and spray water to make it run and blend and uh, get into the creases of the texture already on there. Now it's time to add some uh, color to the butterfly and I use um, this um, multi-surface paint in teal by That's Crafty and also an um, ink in the green turquoise color. Uh, by the way, all the mediums and paints I use on this project is by That's Crafty and I will leave a link 
in the description below to their online store. That's also where you can find my my stamps and stencils and masks and paper designs and also this new uh, crafty board designs. Now I also need to bring in some more of the turquoise and uh, teal colors into the background to uh, work with the color of the butterfly. use the dry brushing technique again um, adding a tiny amount of white gesso onto the butterfly to enhance the texture um, just as I did on the background of the canvas Here I decide that there is a lack of contrast. It's uh, nice but it's a bit meh. Uh, so I start with this um, deep purple color because I think there is some purple tones in the background and then I play with the ink and water and then I decide to add even more contrast and go in with a black ink as well. These little flowers get the same treatment. Um, I use the turquoise, turquoise green and the black uh, to make every part of the design work together um, color-wise um, before I glue them down.
Now it's time for the final touch and I add some white splatters and I also go around the edges with some um, black ink to bring everything together to draw the, the, the eye into the painting by adding that frame and I think it also plays nice with the black that's in the middle of the, of the canvas. So here are the final details and I hope you enjoyed today's video and I so much appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, it helps me so much. Um, I um, really really appreciate it and I'm truly thankful for all of you who are subscribed to my channel. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment if you liked it. I would love to hear what you think about it. Until next time, bye bye!